Hello Gemini, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Gemini, this is your reading for the month of uh, June, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Gemini, uh, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment on below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Gemini, there is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in the description box and comment section. We'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. And I'll also provide certain self-care tips which probably you don't want to miss. Okay, so the link is in description box and comment section. As far as this reading on YouTube is concerned, uh, Gemini, we will see uh, what is it that you need to know when it comes to your love life, what is it that you need to know when it comes to your uh, uh, career, your finances, okay? Then what are the challenges you are facing and what are the blessings that are coming your way? So basically, we are going to see four things in this reading, okay? Let me shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down and then we'll discuss the energies. Gemini. Hmm. So what are the messages around your love life? Or what is it that you need to know when it comes to your love life? Ace of Swords. Then we have Temperance. And we have Strength. What is it that you need to know when it comes to your career, your money? We have justice, we have six of pentacles, and we have two of cups. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. What are the challenges you are facing in your life? We have four of pentacles. And what are the blessings that are coming your way? We have ten of wands. Gemini. Gemini, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius. You may be dealing with a Leo. You may be dealing with a Libra. I'm hearing Scorpio, Pisces. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed from the signs. You may be seeing a lot of 1111, a lot of 222, 333, 666. Okay. So, this is your spread, Gemini. Okay. All right. So, Gemini. Hmm. What is it that you need to know when it comes to your love life? Gemini, uh, yes, of course, I will, I will talk specifically about your love life. But there is a strong message in your reading. And uh, like that message is shouting from the rooftop. And spirit like literally wants me to convey that message. Okay. Uh, it's like no give that message a priority and the message is that a lot of stability is about to come your way in your love life or your career or life in general okay you are about to experience a lot of stability maybe your life was a, a roller coaster ride in the past okay and now I see like the it, Tremendous amount of stability is, is about to get restored in your life, Gemini. Okay. Uh, so, whatever your intentions are, they are getting manifested into reality. Okay. Now, let's talk specifically about love. Ace of Swords, Temperance and Strength card. Someone wants to initiate a communication with you, Gemini, is what I'm getting. Okay. Uh, someone wants to initiate a communication with you. And probably you are also trying to seek some clarity when it comes to your love life. Maybe you're going a bit back and forth. What is it that you need to do? Okay. And with a temperance card, I see that there is a lot of divine inter uh, interference in your life as well. Okay. It's like... Uh, it's like universe is is about to give you what you're seeking you want clarity universe is about to give you that you want some sort of communication from someone universe is about to give you that okay so if you are seeking clarity about a certain situation then that clarity uh, will come your way 
and i i am getting that there will be a sense of relief in the near future so something is probably this communication that is coming your way that is going to give you that sense of relief or that is going to take away the stress from your life or 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 probably the overall stability that you are about to experience in your life okay that is going to give you the sense of relief again with the strength card i i feel that maybe uh, if like whoever whether it is a past person whether it is a new person okay whoever intends to communicate with you and whoever uh, of course they intend to communicate with you because they want to express their uh, their love interest in you uh having said so don't forget to show your boundaries they are not going to cross the boundaries but the the message over here is it is it will be always good if you communicate that what is acceptable and what is not okay let there be a clear idea of your own vision of your expectations in the in the connection okay so uh, if a communication happens which i see is very likely to happen a communication with someone is very likely to happen gemini and during that communication it is suggested with the strength card that you you let the other person know what are your expectations very clearly and very precisely okay so letting know your boundaries like this is acceptable and this is not acceptable okay and you can tell them like i'm 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 stating uh, all these things because i have had a previous experience and i don't want to go through that similar experience and that's why i am very clearly stating all these things okay uh i also see gemini that animals are of some special importance to you i mean all of a sudden if you see any animal a wild animal or an animal which of which is a very rare sight uh, in a public area say for example a deer or uh, say for example if you see a bear or say for example if you see a mongoose okay if you see a unique animal uh, in a public in a public space okay uh, then that is sort of an indication that things are about to go in your favor okay apart from that your intuition is strongly going to guide you you will have lot of dreams about someone okay uh if you want to heal yourself you can work with flowers roses will help you heal faster and roses will also help you attract the right kind of a person so whether you're a male or a female watching this doesn't matter you can just put a bouquet of roses on your table okay because or 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 as simple as that you can even work with rose quartz okay rose quartz will help you attract love faster uh as far as as far as your career your money is concerned are you kidding me we have just as we have six of pentacles and we have two of pentacles all the three cards okay all the three cards they indicate stability a very very strong stability okay at in this justice card look at the scale it indicates stability six of pentacles also this person has a scale and six of pentacles is a very strong card that indicates stability two of cups is equal give and take so there is stability again so if if at all you are facing any kind of financial issues then that is that situation is about to change uh not only financial stability is coming your way but a lot of financial abundance is also coming maybe you're you're about to attract a lot of financial fortune for some of you i'm i'm hearing that you're about to win a lottery or you're about to get some sort of an inheritance or probably with a with a justice card if you are feeling underpaid for the kind of work that you are getting uh, for the kind of work that you are doing then i believe you will be able to charge the kind of money that you always wanted to charge okay say for example if you are selling tarot card uh, readings okay you will be able to charge that kind of money 
for your private readings or uh, if you're a if if you are someone who is uh, if you're selling any kind of products, okay, you will be able to sell the products with a very good margins or if you're working somewhere, okay, I see a salary hike that is coming your way. So when it comes to your money, your career, I see a lot of satisfaction and I also see a lot of appreciation. Like your bosses are going to pamper you for uh, because of your intelligence, because of your hard work that you're putting. Your If you are someone who is your own boss, then your employees will be uh, will go gaga about you and they will be very happy with you. They will be very satisfied and content with you. With the two of cups, I see some sort of partnership happening with someone okay uh maybe you will partner up with someone now look when i say partnership it can it also means collaboration it does not necessarily mean you are getting into you're signing a partnership contract necessarily with someone that may be the case but i also see this as a collaboration it, it simply means that you are collaborating with someone who is going to contribute towards your vision okay so probably uh, uh probably uh if you are running your own business then then probably you're going to hire more employees under you okay who will help you help you in reaching your business who will help you in expanding your uh, business if you are uh, someone who is con who is into consulting you consult people for something then you're going to hire services uh from external parties to help you out in uh, in providing better consulting services right so that's what i see i see either collaboration or a partnership but this collaboration or this partnership is going to help you expand your business or is going to help or, or is going to act as a stepping stone for your success okay uh if you are in a job probably i see you are doing you will be doing a lot of work with your boss okay it, i mean it will be uh, that you are going to showcase a similar talent that your boss has. So you guys are going to work together. Probably if your boss is someone who wants to start something of their own, they may come towards you with an offer and they may say like, hey, uh, I am planning to start uh, start my own business. Why don't you join me as my partner or something like that? Okay. So I see some sort of offer coming your way. Someone is going to be extra generous with you. Okay. Gemini, like someone, uh, maybe, uh, maybe a brother or a sister, they may just say like, you know, uh, I'm willing to give up my uh, inheritance share in your favor. Uh, or maybe if if you are working in a restaurant, then some a customer is going to pay you a very hefty tip, right? So I see that someone is going to be very extra generous with you. Uh, what are the challenges that you are facing? We have four of swords. Overthinking. Overthinking, Gemini. You're overthinking a lot, okay? And this is a current challenge. Your headspace is extremely, extremely crowded. And uh, you're overthinking a lot. And what is happening because of that is probably there is a lot of time is getting wasted because of overthinking. You are running a lot of ifs and buts. In some cases, because of whatever happened with you in the past, Gemini, you have developed certain insecurities. Okay, so you are always very conscious while making the decisions. Like if I make this decision, how other people are going to perceive me? Okay, so a lot of overthinking goes in in uh, in such uh, kind of things. So that is a challenge. Maybe you sh you need to do some meditation because that is going to help you stop the overthinking process. That will help you gain regain the emotional stability and the composure and the calmness that you need within. What are the blessings that are coming your way? Ten of Wands. Unnecessary things, unnecessary burdens are getting lifted off of your shoulders. Okay, if you're taking too much of responsibility uh, in your life, then probably someone is going to enter in your life to share that responsibility. Okay, if you are feeling uh, too much burdened by unnecessary situations, God is going to remove you from that situation. If you're not happy in a certain situation, that situation is going to go away. That person is going to go away from your life. Okay, all right. I hope this resonates and hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. The link for the extended is in the description box and comment section. We'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Okay, bye-bye then.